first of all, Samuel, uh, where are we? <laughs> so, we're here at uh, Starbreeze mocap room, uh, where we shoot some of the mocap, not everything, because uh, this is more for pickups, smaller set of animations. We do most of our uh, recording in a church here in Uppsala. I thought I'd ask you a little bit about the multiplayer. Um, you're do doing things a little bit differently. Can you tell us a little bit what, what difference you like to bring to the first person multiplayer scene? So with this game, we uh, first of all, we got about 20 maps multiplayer. We got six modes. Four of them are uh, classic modes, which is uh, CTF, DM, TDM, and uh, Arena. And we've added two new unique modes for this game, which is Pitch Black and Butcher Bay Riot. So Butcher Bay Riot is uh, one of the unique modes for this game. It's a team-based uh, mode where you fight... Uh, Four versus four versus four, so it's three teams. It's prisoners, guards, and mercs. They will fight uh, over a power cell, which uh, each team has to bring to another team's base to capture to win the round. We have some uh, purchasing systems, so you can buy equipment at the start of each round, and you fight until one team has uh, one uh, number of rounds. What does uh, three teams bring to to it? That's uh, that makes it better than, say, four teams or two teams? Yeah, the three teams, you have a bit of the rock, paper, scissor uh, method going there, where, which, where each team tries to take out another team in a circular motion, which makes it a bit interesting in the way that you hunt. When somebody's captured the uh, power cell, you have to find the base for that team and try to take them out before they where they're delivering that. It creates some unique situations with a, a little bit different when you two teams, you're just uh, going up in the middle and fighting each other out and then going back. This is like you go round and round and try to take it out to each other. It's pretty fast paced. We're not looking at 30 minutes rounds. It's rounds that, that are pretty fast. When I played Counter-Strike myself, I, I was pretty annoyed sometimes that you got to wait. I was so bad. I suck at Counter-Strike. So I had to wait so long because I got killed immediately and then I'd wait for a couple of uh, four or five minutes before it's next round. Because then you don't get better either. <laughs> no, I never get better because I always said to watch other players. <laughs> so, but in, uh, in this mode we're looking at faster round times, more action, more fast paced. So the generic the approach we have in this game is that uh, multiplayer is very fast paced. It's going to be quick a lot of action. So Pitch Black, this is uh, another unique mode we have uh, where you play as Riddick, one player plays as Riddick and then you have Mercs hunting him. So Riddick has his unique ability with night vision so instead of, uh, so we have the level totally Pitch Black it's the Mercs, they start outside of the area where Riddick is residing and they can grab guns and they have flashlights so that's the way they can find Riddick, by hunting him down, with tracking him down with the flashlights. Riddick can see everything, but he only got, he's only got uh, Ulex as a weapon, which is a melee weapon, but he's very fast. So he gets on them and tries to take him out as fast as possible, while the mercs, they got uh, assault weapons to try to take him out. And if you kill Riddick, you become Riddick. In the pitchback mode, we have some melee action with the Riddick hunting down. Problem with melee, we, we had a few iterations, tests with melee uh, fights. We didn't. It's hard to get it good with uh, that. You want the contact and everything to look good, and it didn't really do that to us. I, I think it's a hard trick to solve. So we're going mainly for action, shooting action, and some melee. I mean, even in Butcher Bay Riot, you can buy a melee weapon. How does uh, the Riddick gameplay translate to the more traditional game modes? So, the tr traditional game modes are traditional. We're not uh, we're not reinventing them much. It's uh, oh, we got of course we got the graphical touch of uh, the Riddick universe, and the, but the game rules are pretty much the same. And we're but we feel that we've done a good addition there. Of we, I think the pacing is the key there. We've done a very quake style, fast paced multiplayer component which is going to be very interesting to play. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.